Hey guys, this is going to be another quick Linux command video. Check the link in the description for more info and for copy and paste examples. The Linux command wc is used to find the word count or line count of a file. So it's all, it also does find the byte and character counts too. So we can also do that. So this is actually a pretty simple and uh, also very useful command. I use this um, pretty frequently. So you would say wc dash l and say test, well, let's see what we have here. So we have, um, yeah, so wc dash l and let, let's do this with a uh, test zero. And that tells us 16 lines in that file. So test zero, yeah, that's that's about 16 lines. So that tells us the number of lines. So a dash L will tell you the number of lines. Now, if you wanna check the number of words in a file, you can say W, so that's the number of words, two, 224 words. So basically everything separated by a space is gonna be a word, right? So you, you could do the same thing with, um, What, what what else do we have here? Well, b before doing that, let's 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 show you the let's show you C. So C is characters, or or the number of bytes in the file. So four forty eight. So that's counting spaces and stuff. So it basically double, right? So um, you know once you count the spaces in this file, it basically doubles the count from two twenty four to four forty eight. Now. Let's see, the other thing you can do is check, okay, so C is bytes and M is characters. And that's going to be the same number because we have a, a byte per character. Now, if your characters were larger than a byte, um, those numbers might be different. Now, it's, it's kind of counterintuitive. You would think C for characters, but it's, it's actually C for bytes and M for characters. So... One common thing we do with this, now this is great for checking files, and if you have a, like a file that contains a list of things, you might want to see how many things are in that list to count them up. That That's a that's a useful thing to want to be able to do. But you can also use this with piped input. So you could say ps-ef, pipe, wc-l, and that's going to give you a count of processes running on the system. So psef will give you all the processes on the system, pipe it into wc and do a dash l, that's all the processes on the system. So what else do we have here? So if we look at our, let's say our hosts file that I have in here. So we, we could say wc-w hosts, give you the word count for the hosts file, just to give, give you a demo of that. And you can also say wc-l asterisk and just check all the files in this directory. So you can see the line count for every file in this directory and a total for all of them put together. So that's basically everything that I want to show you for the WC command. It's a pretty simple command, but also an incredibly useful command. Not a whole lot of options. Honestly, the, the only two you have to remember are dash L and dash W for words. You're, you're real, well, you, you may want to do characters too, but for the most part, you're going to be doing words some of the time, most of the time, dash l wc dash l is the most common usage i use that in all sorts of different situations it's super useful that's a, that's the most common usage for me anyways but i use it for for so many different things things you'd never even think of until they come up but just a, a good command to have in your back pocket and you know this isn't one to just read about and say okay at least i know what that does i'm never going to use it this is something you should be using so that's about it for the wc command remember check the links in the description for more info Hit the subscribe button for more useful content like this. We also have a ton of other more interesting content covering things like coding, hardware, software, servers, Raspberry Pis, 3D printing, and a whole lot more. Hopefully you found this useful. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys on that next video.